Hello everybody, today let's do an analysis on Advanced Micro Devices Inc. or AMD which is listed on the NASDAQ. Along with the Ichimoku chart, we will be using Heiken Ashi candlesticks. So Heiken Ashi candlesticks are an offshoot from Japanese candlesticks. They use open and close data from the prior period and the open, high, low, close data from the current period to create a combo candlestick. So Heiken actually means average and Ashi means pace. So Heiken Ashi represents the average pace of prices. So in a strong uptrend, you will see green or hollow candlesticks with no lower wicks or no lower shadows. If you see a series of green candlesticks with no lower shadows, you know that the trend is strongly upward. If you see a series of red or filled candlesticks with no upper shadows, you are inside a strong downtrend. Heiken Ashi candlesticks are not used in the same way as normal candlesticks because you do not use uh, combinations of candlesticks to look for trends. Instead, these candlesticks can be used to identify trending periods or potential reversal points and can also be used along with classic technical analysis patterns. Heiken Ashi candlesticks are currently showing a strong uptrend for AMD. But as we mentioned before, Ichimoku is special because it is able to warn us of future price action using the various signals combined together. So what are these signals that pointed to a reversal from the low at 93 in October 2023? There's a bullish Kumo twist. The price crossed above the Kijun Sen. The Tenkan Sen crossed above the Kijun Sen. The price broke above the Kumo. And the Chiku Span broke above the price bars and the Kumo as well. These signals must be taken together in your analysis of the future direction of price. The price of AMD had already broken above the November 2021 all-time high of 164.46. That was a strong resistance to break. Now, after that breakout, price have been moving sideways. The last few candlesticks are showing indecision because instead of being solid green candlesticks, we have shadows on both ends of the candlestick. Now, we expect prices to be range-bound between 160 to 185 until a breakout in either direction happens. So right now, price is within a small coiling pattern. This is what happens when price breaks above a major resistance price tries to gain strength for a further move upward. So a positive resolution would be if the price is able to break above that coil pattern with a resistance of 185. And it should also hold above the support of 160, which is also where the Kumo support is located. In previous videos, we learned that before a huge move happens, the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen often reattach themselves to each other. The gap between the two lines is very little or non-existent so that there is equilibrium between the short-term and the medium-term prices. As price gains strong momentum within its trend, the Tenkan Sen tends to separate from the Kijun Sen. It tends to create a huge gap so that the short-term price averages break away from the medium-term price averages. The result is that the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen look like they're forming the letter C. This is why we call it the C pattern. 
we see the same pattern within this chart. As we know, if uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen have the C pattern or have a huge gap, price should work towards gaining equilibrium. So the result is a correction in time whereby price moved sideways for a period of time until this equilibrium is restored. Now in the next C pattern that formed after that, we see that there was a correction in price rather than a correction in time that restored the equilibrium between the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen. So while we see a strong uptrend in the chart of AMD after breaking above that all-time high, Upon the resolution of that C pattern, we see a continued uptrend on the break above 185 as long as the support of 160 remains intact, it is still safe to stay in this long trade. So thank you very much for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.